floor plans before we go into drafting. Um, so that just means kind of adding doors, adding the hatches. And what I've done is I've just added hatches to those walls wherever those walls are intersecting. And, you know, we've done that just like how we did the sections. We just select our walls and we just type in hatch. Now, in terms of doors and furniture, um, what I recommend is that if you actually have AutoCAD blocks, you can actually import those blocks into your drawing, just like how we imported the trees in the previous assignments. But for the sake of this video, let's say that you guys don't have um, any of those blocks. So let's actually, let's actually create our own doors, okay? Let's go to standard. So we're just gonna create a door that fits um, into our door frame. Let's say it's a two inch door. Um, and we're gonna rotate this door. So we're gonna um, make it open outwards. And we're gonna go to our circle command. And we're gonna create a circle um, to show how that door moves. Let's go to trim now and we're gonna trim anything that kind of is not needed. And um, there you go, you have a quick door just that was modeled. Let's do the same thing for this bathroom door. So we're gonna um, quickly create a door um, that is uh, two inches wide. And just like previously, just we're gonna rotate it. Uh, it's gonna open into the bathroom. So it's gonna open uh, inwards. And let's move it back to the midpoint uh, like we wanted. And we're gonna create a circle and we're just gonna match it to the uh, turning radius. And just like before, trim anything that you don't want. And there you go, you have a quick door. And like I mentioned, you know, um, if you want, you can actually, let's say I wanna save this door for future, I would actually export this and I would, you know, save it as door type, uh, door type one, like uh, 36 inches, right? Um, and you can do that just so you have your own little uh, directory of kind of your own types of doors or your own types of windows, you know, whatever you wish. Um, but those are your uh, uh, your two kind of floor plans kind of done really quickly. So now we're going to jump into drafting. Um, there's two ways to export this. Um, since we have our hatch already done, the first way is that you can just select the views. Um, so let's say I take these elevations. Let me just copy and paste these. Let's say I'll, I'll move them a little bit closer together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these elevations. I'm going to type in export. I'm going to select it as PDF. And I'm going to name it as elevations. Um, two story house, right? Uh, okay. And now this dialog will come up. Uh, it's pretty much a very quick export option. So it's gonna give you all of these options, right? So let's change our size to, uh, let's say A3. A3 is I think 11 by 17 or close. So we're gonna change our scale. Uh, we're gonna change it to a quarter inch scale. We're gonna change our orientation to landscape and we're gonna select our window. Now you can tell just from this that all of our drawings are not fitting in this window. So this is really important. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two and a, two by two. So let's do portrait. Let's go back to our window. And we're gonna export two of these at a time. Change our scale, no, enter. So now we have these two elevations in one drawing. So everything looks okay. Our scale we already decided was a quarter inch scale. And uh, our size is A3. So let's hit save. So let's name this uh, elevations um, set one. Uh, quarter inch scale okay and then now uh, you can do the same thing for the second uh, just to export so we'll do uh, elevations uh, set to um, quarter inch scale you need to change that to two and it's gonna ask us to rename it again so it's okay once again let's change our scale to a quarter inch scale so we have that same scale that we desire we're going to go to our window and we're going to select those two elevations. Change our scale, no. Enter. Same thing, everything looks okay. Let's click set. And um, we're just going to rename it. So we'll rename it as set two. Okay, so we have those two elevations, you know, quickly exported. And you can see that right over here, um, we have those two elevations. And if we want to print it on 18 by 24, uh, we just go to Photoshop. And uh, we create a new sheet that's 18 by 24. Um, and we do this because we want the scale to be maintained. File, 
File, New. For our inches and our sheet size, we're going to change our width to arc C, so that's 24 inches wide by 18 inches. And this is important, the resolution will be 300 dpi. Okay. And then we click File, Open. And we open those two elevations that we saved. Elevation Set 1. Okay. File, Open, Elevation Set 2. Okay. And then just select that entire view and um, just make sure to copy it and then you can just place it into your drawings. And then I have those two elevations. Now with this one, I haven't changed the line weights. Uh, make sure that um, the line weights are changed and you do that like I mentioned, just going in Rhino and editing the line, line weights through there. And that way you can actually have um, all four of your drawings on one sheet. And just make sure you move them around to realign it. So this is option number one, and this is how you do a, a pretty quick export option. Option number two is where you actually do drafting in Rhino, and you actually organize your sheet in Rhino. Now the only downside to this form of drafting is that um, your hatches are actually going to change. So you'll have to do a little bit of math uh, in terms of how you do that. So let's go ahead and set up our drafting. So let's go to our drafting tab. Uh, we're going to go to uh, create a new layout. So let's click OK. Let's name this uh, Sheets A1. Um, let's name this as Elevations. We'll set our printer as Adobe PDF. We'll set our size as Arc C. That's 18 by 24. And it's landscape, so 24 by 18. And we're going to make our detail count as zero. So hit OK. And you have this sheet that was actually created. Um, interesting. OK, let me delete this. I have two sheets. <clears throat> so this is our sheet. Um, so what I want to do is if I go to standard, I'm actually going to create a rectangle. And I'm going to have the rectangle match this box. I'm going to take this and I'm going to offset it. I'm going to offset it one inch because I want a one inch border. And I'm just going to use the lines to create four different uh, grids just so that I can place my detail view into each of these four grids. My four elevations will fit into here. Let's go back to drafting. Let's go to uh, add detail view. And for my first corner rectangle, I'm going to select this as my first corner of my rectangle. Then I can double click this and I can zoom in on whatever elevation I desire. And this is where you'll start to see that uh, the hatch patterns start to change scale because um, it's working in feet right now. So what happens is as the, as the scale changes, the hatch pattern actually changes as well. And you will need to do a little bit of math for this. So either what you can do is you can actually go to the hatch option and you can actually change the scale. Um, so you can do that to change the scale. So that's how you would do it just by keeping in some math and kind of just like rescaling it. Um, another option that's much faster that I recommend is just going to File, going to Properties. And if you go right over here, it says Enable Hatch Scaling. Um, so we're going to go to our annotation, and that's where we would deselect this, Enable Hatch Scaling. So Model Space, so that way your Model Space it doesn't change. So now you have this uniform hatch in this view. So that's our first detail view. Let's go to create a second detail view. So we'll click Add Detail View. We're going to uh, double click and we're going to zoom in to our um, other elevation. Double click to close it. Let's create a new detail view for this. Double click to go into our third elevation, which is our back elevation. Double click. Uh, create a new detail view. So we create this detail view. Double click. Uh, go to our fourth elevation, our final elevation. And then double click to close it. And then for the, for the next video, we're going to quickly go into scaling and how we can preserve scale.